Welcome to I Love the Library. I'm Donnell Haspel and I'm one of the reference librarians here at the Detroit Lakes Public Library. Today I'm going to, going to show you one of our free databases that we have for our customers. Um, it's the Science Reference Center. So let's go to the screen. So this is our website, the way it looks when it comes up. This is LARL.org, which stands for Lake Agassiz Regional Library, and that address is on your library card. So we're going to go to the research button, and we're just going to tap on it, and we're going to go to complete list of databases from A to Z. So we're going to scroll down to the S's for science, because it's Science Reference Center and it's right here. It says science encyclopedias, reference books, periodicals, and other sources covering numerous, numerous science topics for middle and high school students. So we're just going to click into it. And this is what it looks like when it comes up. It's got the sciences um, divided up. Here's applied sciences, earth sciences, life sciences, physical sciences, scientists, space and sciences, and astronomy. And it has a reference shelf here. It's got lessons plans, science experiments, citation help. So if you are doing a paper um, and you're using this um, database, and you want to know how to cite your sources, that's where you go for the help. They have research guides, curriculum standards, worksheets. Here's the featured article, which is on drones. So when we were at the screen, you saw Albert Einstein's picture at, under the category of scientists. And when I was in college in a physics class, I did a paper on Maleva Marek, who is Albert Einstein's first wife. She was a scientist in her own right. They went to the same polytechnic, and she um, helped him as a partner on all of his papers. She uh, didn't put her name on them because back in the early 1900s, women weren't really taken seriously as scientists. And it turns out that um, Albert Einstein didn't want to get married until he had a job. Well, Maleva was trying desperately to get a body of work together f with Albert's name on so that he could get a job. And as a matter of fact, at one point, um, Albert Einstein got her pregnant. And he wouldn't marry her because he didn't have a job. So you can see how desperate she was to actually help him get a job. Um, she went home to her parents, and the baby disappeared. They just assumed that she adopted it out came back and Albert finally got a job in the patent office and then he married her and they went on to have two kids, two boys, before they divorced. So the reason I'm going into that big long story is Marie Benedict, she wrote The Other Einstein and it's based on the truth about Maleva Mark's life and it is an awesome book and I highly recommend it. And Marie Benedict went on to write her newest book, which is The Only Woman in the Room. Now, this is about Hedy Lamarr's life. And um, everybody knows Hedy Lamarr as a famous, beautiful actress. But there was more to Hedy Lamarr than just being a beautiful face. She was an inventor and an, a scientist. And you can thank her for uh, some of the technology that was used to, to make uh, to put together your cell phone. So Marie Benedict is giving these women uh, recognition for the wonderful things they did in the field of science. So if you have a paper to do uh, for any part of science, you can go to that free database that I showed you. It's the Science Reference Center. And I hope to see you at the library.